totally forgot about those two games. Didn't know I made the team. Ladies and gentlemen, and this has got to be a high point in the career of the fellow you see there as he's making his first ever All-Star Game appearance. Mike Rogers. We're at the Crestfield Second League team. So we have a gauge hitting. Just going past holes to warm up. Best way to warm up, just throw fast balls. Digging in, Jose Altuve is hitless in his two at bats so far. The second baseman, Jose Altuve. He's set and the pitch. Just does manage to get a and piece there as this too. is bounced foul. So, come on. Oh, oh and one here it comes in there and he's ahead oh two now good pitch right there from the reliever tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it the o2 delivery weak grounder down the first baseline but this will wind up foul still Owen two. The next 0 2 misses down below the knees. The count is one and two. Bryce is going with that. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. This kind of hitter right here, we call this guy a grinder. What are our grinders? They just kind of foul off some good pitches. They, they pitches just off the plate. This is every pitcher's nightmare. A guy that's up there with a plan and not just up there swinging at anything that you throw towards home plate. Here's Mookie Betts. Last time through was a base hit. Mookie. The bouncer to the left side. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Now to the plate, Mike Trout. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hard hit ball to second, taken in by Zobrist. Throw in time, and the side is retired. We'll see Freddie Freeman start things off when we. Kenley Jansen gets the call from the pen to take over on the. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. This evening's game comes to an end. Five. Nine pitches. Not bad. The Giants. Yes. Yeah. 
No. Idris Vosa. Or how do you say his name? Got four righties. Five lefties. And they're one. Tuesday night baseball from Denver, Colorado in Coors Field. Tonight, the second of three to... Yeah, they're at 500 for five games. And for five games Mike Rogers the gets the start for Colorado in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy wasn't too bad in this last one, Matt. Pitched all the way through the sixth inning. And listen, that's what you ask for nowadays. If you can get your starter to get you through the sixth inning and turn it over to the bullpen, he took the loss in the last one, but he actually pitched pretty well. Well, boys, we take a look at the Rockies starting play here tonight. They've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out and, in fact, dropping six of their last seven. Yeah, Matty V. Hey, d -Row, talk about a team that's scuffling right now. I had a chance to talk to the manager before the game. He's not happy. The players aren't happy. Yeah, and just a malaise has kind of come over this clubhouse. We had a chance, like he said, to walk through it a little bit. The boys are not jumping around. This that's is a big a game posty. today. And here's how the visiting San Francisco Giants line up in this one. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? You know, Matt, I'm looking for Longoria to snap out of the funk he's been in. He's hitting under 250 for the season. You think about it, that's basically one for four every game with some offers mixed in there. It tells you about the inconsistency he's had so far in the batter's box. Temperature starting to drop as the sun goes down. 56 degrees here at first pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss, got him with the slurve there, two gone. Well, at the rate he's going, he's going to strike out 27 on 81 pitches, not throw a single ball and, and toss a perfect game. Obviously, I'm kidding, but you can't start a game any better than this. Two hitters, two strikeouts, six pitches. This has the makings of a great outing already. Mm, a little tardy there, no balls and a strike. Oh, man, he's got a chance to strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven, two to go. Grounded softly to the right. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Here's Tyler Austin now. Leading off for San Francisco, the right fielder, number 19, Tyler Austin. First pitch of the at-bat. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Man, I know exactly what this guy's feeling at the plate. Here we go again. Every time you're struggling, you look up, and it says 0-2. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And That's digging it. in at the plate will the be Chris team. Shaw. Number 22. Popped up. Arenado will look this one in, and that's out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And standing in here, the veteran third baseman, Evan Longoria. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Clyde Washington. Yeah, Matty, Clyde's my type of umpire. I didn't mind the low strike zone, and that's exactly what he has. If you're not going to give him above the belt, I'm going to... Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Coming to the plate now, Mike Rogers. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. First delivery to him on the way. But gloving it down there at third is Longoria quick. So striding forward now, Stephen Boat, 7 8 9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. And the 34 year old veteran looks at a called strike, it's 0 and 1. Boat's in a hole, 0 and 2 to him. <laughs> 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 
swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away it's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0 and 2 right you have to protect for the fastball you have to look for the soft that stuff down and away the you're third. really at a disadvantage one. when you Three fall behind 0 and 2 <laughs> first pitch hack in here and that's the first oh, strike yeah. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Third inning, no score to this point. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Andrew Suarez. First pitch of the at-bat to third. Arenado has it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So coming to the plate, Salvatore Ramiro comes into this at-bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. Oh. A ball and a strike to the Giants' leadoff man. 1-1. One, one. Swing and a ball chop foul down the left side. The 1-2. Pitch popped up. Reynolds waits on it. One away. Really, Reynolds purple shoes. I love the color purple. But when the sun set down, like blinding. Coming to the plate now, Brandon Crawford. The batter. First pitch on its way. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Crawford has all the necessary skills to play great defense on the left side of the infield, and it makes him really fun to watch. He can pick it with the best of them, but what sets him apart is the huge arm. It's accurate. It's incredibly strong. Certainly has the ability to uncork a throw and beat a runner when he needs to, and it's impressive to watch. Yeah, anybody that has the ability to go to their backhand and to absolutely fire a cannon across the infield is a huge asset to have. Story picks it up. On to first, and there are two down. So two away for the Giants here in the fourth. And that'll bring up the former World Series champ, MVP, and rookie of the year, Buster Posey. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will land untouched. The 0-1 pitch. Mm, fooled him with that one as he's way out in front. This is what every pitcher likes to have. Another 0-2 count really puts the hitters on a defensive side and multiple ways you can go fastball up you can go breaking ball down one of the keys getting ahead and he's done a very good job of that so far throw to first will get him easily and the side is into the box now is the Colorado pitcher Mike Rogers and their runners at the corners now from the stretch no balls and a strike to count no runs, three hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. Hit hard back up the middle. Crawford's got it. On to first, and the Rockies failed. That's all right. Now in the box, Tyler Austin. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. Chased a bad one there, one and one. You know, that can really be an effective pitch to a guy that has a lot of pop. They're up there looking for a fastball up in the Come zone, on. so if you can place it a little above it, they have a hard time getting the barrel up there. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. I know this team has been struggling offensively, but here's a perfect situation with a three-one count. 
you have a chance to do some damage, you know you're getting a guaranteed fastball. Popped him up. Reynolds has a play. And he brings it in on the warning track. Chris Shaw, the next to take a turn at the plate. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more oh, open. You guys and that's the that. first hit in this one for the Giants. Hey, this team has been shut down offensively up until this point, Dan. But right here, team's first hit at a game in the fifth inning. Let's see if it sparks some offensive. You know, this will be interesting, d row to see if they can crack this guy's code. A lot of times, once you get that first hit, several begin to fall after that one. So it'll be interesting to see if this guy can put the screws on this one and tighten things up and not allow any more base hits. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Desmond is there to put it away for route number two. At the plate, Stephen Vogt. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. The 1-2. And another foul ball. Shaw is off the first with two away. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Digging in, Mike Gerber. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Gerber stands at six foot even. Bats left, throws right. He was selected in the 15th round during the 2014 draft. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was, there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Mike Gerber becomes the first out of the inning. And a fastball is in there for strike one. 0-1 oh, is a circle change that's over for a cold strike. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well, and it's a big reason why he's had success. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Andrew Suarez is sent packing for out number two in the sixth. The Stepping into the box, the Salvatore Ramiro. Salvatore. His last at bat didn't go Ramiro. his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop-up foul. This is line to left. Dull is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. Giants down in order. We are still scoreless. So a crucial moment here in standing in Mike Rogers as he's presented with the bases loaded situation in a tie ball game. Now this is on the ground a second. Is he going to get out of this? Maybe not as this is kicked out there. The run comes across to score and they jump ahead one nothing. Boy that has to feel good as a hitter D. You get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Stepping in, Brandon Crawford started out here for San Francisco with Buster Posey to follow on deck. There's a fastball called for a strike on the inside corner. Strike two taken, a fastball that clips the inside black. You can tell this offense is getting frustrated, but this might be one you have to shower off. When a guy's locating like this, fastball at the knees and to both corners, 
it's going to be tough for them to do anything with it. So he notched the backwards K on that one. Brandon Crawford goes down for the out in the seventh inning. Now a pitch runs in on him here, and all he can do is flare one foul off to the right side. Oh, one pitch on its way. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. He's still looking great to me out there on the mound. Punched out the first guy in the seventh, and he's jumped ahead in the count right here. Looks like he could stay in this game a while longer. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Desmond moving forward. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So two away now in the San Francisco seventh. And that'll bring up the big bat of right-handed hitting Tyler Austin. And that misses ball one. The 1-1 home. Strike two swinging. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Drilled on the ground is short. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Down. At the plate, Chris Shaw. He'll start things out for us here in inning number eight. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Back to the mound. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. In is the third baseman, Evan Longoria. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. That evens it up, one and one. Here's the one and one pitch, and he fouls this one off. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. And he struck him out. So double digits now, 10 strikeouts for him thus far. Now at the plate, Stephen Vogt. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Strike taken up in the zone. Right by him here, and he's set up for another strikeout here. The count to 0 and 2. The discipline has just been completely absent from this. Seems like they're always finding themselves behind the count, and, and the big reason why is they're swinging at all kinds of stuff that's not even in the strike zone. And he'll take the fastball here inside off the plate. It's one and two. Lee down the line toward first. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game. And this. So digging in now, Mike Rogers. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, man, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Line towards center field, and a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. So with that, we're not done with the bottom of the eighth quite yet. Hey, I've been impressed with this guy. Not only has he thrown the ball well, but now he's mixing in a base hit late in the game, giving his manager options. Whether or not he wants to pinch run, keep him in there. And we'll have to leave it there as the play. I love how he's digging in. Mike Gerber. And his guys need him to get things started here in the top half of the ninth. Ground ball right side. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. I know it wasn't pretty right there, Dan, but that has to frustrate the pitcher. Lead off guy anytime he gets on usually creates a problem. Hey, you know what, Dero, it's especially tough when you get as late in the game as we are right now. Anytime you get that lead off guy on and have that pitcher start pitching out of the stretch, it always puts more stress on that pitcher pitching out of the stretch. 268, the average for him coming in. Eight home runs and 28 RBIs. 
set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Uh, and he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Salvatore Ramiro. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. Now this is hit not all that hard out to second. There's one and nearly a double play. That was closer than I thought it would be and the inning will continue. Here's the shortstop Brandon Crawford. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, and they just haven't had any answer for I the great pitching. It. Mm -hmm. it brings it in, and the Rockies have it's come back to even up this series at a game apiece it's as this ball game is over. It's wow, it's talk it's about total dominance. Nine it's innings, it's only it's two it's hits allowed. It's That's it's about it's as good as it gets. This guy was as good in the ninth inning as he was in the first. So close to baseball history. The and tonight's end. Gotta get my power up because I'm not a pitcher that won't. I'm not a pitcher that'll punt to get a guy over. No, I'm one that'll swing. Just gain some more velocity. My fastball. A manager checks in with his ball club. I need. Starting to Washington. Versus Anibal Sanchez, or however you say his name. Um, Dozier, I know. Ian, Simberman, Turner, Dozier, Taylor. Don't know that many people. Rendon. Time now for baseball on the show. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The shortstop. First offering on its way. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. Well, boys, we take a look at the Rockies starting play here tonight. They came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah, Matty, I hope yeah, these guys were listening today during the hitters' them. meeting because they have not been swinging the bats well. They only scored one run in the loss yesterday, and somewhere along the line, this offense has to execute at a higher level if this team's going to compete. When you have two strikes on you, as a hitter, if you get something that you can handle, you have to find a way to do some damage with it. That was a missed opportunity. The one-two is a changeup oh. that drops below the knees for a ball. Me. You can that bet these hitters so are great. taking Damn. note of what the guy on the hill is working with. A long at-bat like this in the first inning can fly. Two-two pitch is fouled away. Well, good thing he fouled it away. No. He has breaking speed. That's and here's a ball hit down. in the air. Pop out. And no one will track it down. Or somehow that. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. 
but this will land untouched. The 2 2 one more time. On pitch number 10 is the one that finally does it as he strikes out after a long battle here. And a look now at the hometown Nationals starting lineup. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Yeah, Matt, I'm really excited to see what Ryan Zimmerman has in store. He's got over a thousand RBIs. He's already proved he's a clutch hitter. He knows how to drive in big runs when it counts. So if the situation comes up in this game, I'm looking to watch how he goes to work in the clutch. And now for Washington, Adam Eaton. And he'll be looking to change his fortunes in this one. He's seen his numbers take a bit of a dive in recent action. There we go. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Eaton, 30 years of age. He's currently on a one-year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. Two balls and no strikes to Anthony Rendon. Birth with me on a piece of crap. Two balls and a strike to count. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Desmond moves over. And that's the third out. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. Not the shiniest of batting average as he comes in hitting down in the 220s for the year. No balls in one strike. Waiting on a off speed. Then rushed it. Here comes the 0-1. Hit hard to short. Story brings it in. Throw to first is in time for the first down. So here's how the Colorado Rockies are positioned defensively. And let's focus our attention on shortstop Trevor Story. We get it. Big time power, but also adequate on the defensive side. Taking over after Troy Tulowitzki left couldn't be easy. And Trevor Story did a heck of a job. And there's a swing and a miss by Kendrick as he falls behind now 0-2. Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well. And I'm a big believer in body right. language. He's That's getting right. the ball. He's working really quick, keeping the ball down in the zone. And if you take a look at this guy so far early on, a there lot of positive signs. He looks like he brought his good stuff in this one. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. Howie Kendrick becomes out number two this inning. Every pitcher looks to get off to a good start. And I'd say he's off to a good start. How about the first five batters he's faced? That Three of good. them he sent down the via catcher. the strikeout. Kurt Suzuki. Standing in now, Kurt Suzuki. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. The average sitting at 297 here to start things out. Eight home runs, and he's driven in 45. Here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Two out, nobody on. He was able to foul that one off, but you could tell he was definitely late. That breaking ball, the pitch before that. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will. Settling in now, Mike Rogers. Nine, one, and two do up. Roger. First pitch coming now from Sanchez. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Into the box, Brian Dozier. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. And this is swung on and missed. 
five what quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead and count 0-2, and then start working Look outside the zone. Landed. Easier Nowhere said than done, but that's the way to do it. Like, come on. In now, Dragon. Michael Taylor, the left fielder. Michael. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Getting on base, a big problem as you see the average there. Three homers, nine driven in. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here. And there are two away. Stepping in, Anibal Sanchez. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out. So we'll see if he can fare any better. 0-1 the count. 0-1 oh, count and the pitch. Circle change and a beauty. It's 0-2. Oh, and, and there. there's number Watch. eight. One away. Let me strike out. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Striding in for the Rockies, Mike Rogers. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground. The oh, meanwhile, how about that for a play? Laying out to take away a hit. Wow. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Kind of hurt the eye, though. Boy, this one looked like it was oh, yeah, headed for extra bases. I'm like, what? Leading off for Washington. Not shortstop. Here's the first pitch to him. No balls and a strike to count. Here's the 0-2. Down the first baseline, but a foul ball, and the count holds at 0-2. Now another 0-2. High in the air into shallow left center. On the there's run is there. Dahl. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. In now is Adam Eaton. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch coming. Here it is. Left side. Arenado's got it. And there's out number two. In now is Anthony Rendon. The third From the stretch, the here's the pitch. Anthony. And he takes ball one. That was To short, hit hard. Scorey scoops it up. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Ryan Zimmerman. He'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. <gasps> Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. A pause and the 0-2. Fouled away. Here's another 0-2. And another foul ball. Fouled off. Keep battling, young man. Three foul balls in a row. He is calibrating that heater and the off speed. Let's see if he can catch something on the barrel. And he struck him out. And that's eight strikeouts thus far. Now batting, Howie Kendrick. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. This guy's pitching really well in this one so far. You could just see he's awful confident attacking the strike zone, and when he comes off the mound at the end of the inning, looks like he stepped in a big old bucket of sassy. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. So bases are empty here oh, with two cool. gone, and that'll bring the in the catcher, catcher Kurt Suzuki. Kurt. There's the circle change and a dandy that time as he jumps ahead with strike one. And that finds the target. Nothing in two now. 
there seemed to be different philosophies on it. So, Dan, what was your approach in 0-2 counts? My philosophy is this. I, I think the last yeah. thing you want to do is throw non-competitive pitches, Matt. Throw something down in the zone or just out of the zone, but something way out of the zone doesn't serve any purpose. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Desmond racing back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Here's Brian Dozier now. He'll lead things off in the Washington six. He's set. Here it comes. Lifted down the line and left. And they can't run it down. Now the pitch. Looking like that one tied him up a bit, a swing and a miss. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's his wind-up. I don't know if it's just flat stuff. But he's getting a lot of swings outside the zone, and he's having a big game. There to take it is Desmond, and that's the first out. Ready now, Michael Taylor, 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Yeah, Matty, and he was locked up by a good fastball for strike three last time. I'm interested to see if they attack him the same way, come at him with hard velo late, or snap something off in the dirt to see if he'll fish. Here it comes, 0 and 2. Chopper to short. Barehanded at his knees. It's there, and he's out. Juan Soto will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as you'll take a look at strike one. You see the average starting play at 318. A dozen home runs and an even 50 RBIs. The 0-2 home. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will be a foul ball and it's still 0-2. Nationals have yet to crack the hit column thus far. <laughs> and he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings. Nationals gone in order. Need to get it going soon. It's 5 nothing. Coda Glover is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Glover. First offering on its way. First pitch swinging here, and he doesn't get much of it as it's sent toward first. Right. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now back to the top of the lineup, Leading stepping up. in, well, Trey Turner. Turner. He started out the not evening 0 for 2 so far. Okay. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball, 1-0. and 0. Nope. Up top, it's 2-0. and 0. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. And an awful swing there, too, always. The count goes to two and one. And he strikes him out here. So that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the hit column. So he's still got his shutout working here in the seventh. And with that in mind, we check out the league leaders in shutouts. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And That's this is low, ball one. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Looks like he's got a good feel for that two-seam fastball this far into the game. He's used it really effectively tonight. One and two now to Adam Eaton. Here's the one and two. Right side. And that's the second out. Ready for another shot now. Anthony Rendon. over for two with a fly ball and a ground out on his line to this point. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. This is a big out to get right here. This is their best hitter. He's a great hitter, and he's a guy that kind of spark plug. He gets this team going. So if I'm on the mound right now, you really want to... And the throw is in time to get him to retire. 
So next will be the four hole for the Nationals. Ryan Zimmerman, he struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. In there for strike one, 0 and 1. Objective number one right here is finding a way to get on base. So I'm not surprised to see him taking on the first pitch there. Now here's the pitch. But a little dribbler here to the right side of the mound. And that's the first out. Here's Howie Kendrick. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Yeah, kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Now a fastball is lifted into the air to shallow center. Rogers backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Different Rogers. We're getting into the nitty gritty. That's the second out of the eighth inning, and the pitcher needs only four more outs for a no hitter. First pitch on its way. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. You see there, the pitch count is up to 88, and at this point in the game, that's a good be so. I think we'll see him stay out there for at least a little while longer. And that'll do it in the inning as the cap. Ready once again, Mike Rogers. Fourth plate appearance for him tonight, and why not? He's been in control all game long. Throw on to first takes care of him, and the top of the ninth is proving unfruitful thus far. Two quick outs here. Digging in once again, Brian Dozier starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point, but these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. A ball and a strike now. The one and one pitch. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. Got him. So the magic number for a perfect game is now down to two. Striding into the box, Michael Taylor. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. One out, nobody on. And he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. Rogers is there, and there are two men gone now. Gerardo Parra will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 88. Strike taken up in the zone. And he's got that batting line up near the 300 mark entering play. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. I think a big reason why he's been so effective. Swing and a miss. He's done it. A perfect game. Yeah, you've heard and when it rains, it pours. Well, it was raining dominance out here in this one. 27 up, 27 down, and he barely broke a sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest yeah, feats in all of sports, and I'm just excited. I was here to be a part of it. Perfection yeah, is always beautiful. Well, you don't have to look too far to find our tops maybe. player of the game. I'd say any time you throw a Four, perfect game, you'd be a pretty maybe. strong candidate. Yeah, no need to offer any debate this time. All you have to do is look at the box score. No hits, no walks, not even a base runner. We talked about his brilliance all game long, and you can bet he's going to celebrate this one tonight. See ya. The final line score for... One short of a hundred. No, that's how you know. It's crazy. A pitcher is congratulated on one of the rarest accomplishments in sports. It's a day he'll never forget. <laughs> Mm. 
One second. No, it'll just have that grayish look to it. But uh, who cares? This pitcher has just pulled off one of the toughest feats in sports. See, right, Jimmy. Velocity on my uh, two fingers. Tucker Barnhart, Joey Votto, Jose Iglesias, Scooter Jeanette, Gray. Jesse Winker. Everybody except for Spar Squires or how the third baseman and the right fielder. I know. On their side, that is. From the Queen City, we're live inside Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati, Ohio. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the Colorado Rockies and the Cincinnati Reds. The Rockies have now won five consecutive games. They'll aim to continue their winning streak next. Sonny Gray, like a right-hander out of Tennessee, game. will be the starting pitcher. Dan, any thoughts? Here's a guy that numbers can be a little bit deceiving. He has a whip in the 1.3 area and above range. It's a little higher than league average. Standing in, Jose Iglesias. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that's in there. Base hit. <laughs> So we'll see if they have something in the works here with the leadoff hitter aboard and a guy that can really handle the bat in the number two spot. At the plate, Jesse Winker. He begins this one with the fourth best batting average in the National League. What a season this guy's having. He leads the league in on-base percentage, so he's mixing in some hits. He's also drawing some walks. A great combo. Any way you slice it, this guy knows how to get on base. And it's fouled away. Winker is considered an absolute stud with a bat, particularly against right-handed pitching. Against southpaws, however, he has historically had a lot that was more like difficulty. The swing I ever seen. Like he gave up halfway through. That certain angles at certain ballparks. Oh, and two like here it is. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. For the moment here in Cincy, let's take a glance at the Reds' starting lineup in this one. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? You always have to look out for a guy like Joey Votto. I mean, this guy is a career 300 hitter. You talk about consistent. He delivers a good at bat and clutch hits basically every time he walks into the box. I love watching this guy. A 1-1 count to the Reds' first baseman. Well, I think that's a great spot for that pitch in on the hands. It wasn't a strike, but if he can command the movement in there, 
He's going to be very effective in this no. one. I'm gonna attack him. Try to get him hit into the fastball. Strike oh, three strike called out. as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Eugenio Suarez. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Story ranging into the outfield, but he won't wow. get there. It falls in. Guys could have called it at least. Here's the second baseman, Scooter Jeanette, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the out. Get weakly back to the mound. On to first, and the Reds' rally comes up short here as that ends the inning. Reds strand. So striding in, Nick Senzel. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. So here's how the Colorado Rockies are positioned defensively. And let's take a look at outfielder David Dahl. Another guy who profiles not only in center field, but can cover both corners. Speed is his game, and he's only going to continue to get seven. better. The right fielder. Number Ready with the first one. pitch. Here it comes. There we go. In there, strike one. Time to stop looking back. Swing and a miss. Got him with the slurve there. Two gone. What are you swinging at, David? Looks stupid up there. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best yeah, two-strike approach was either. He was. Batting eight. Into the box, the Tucker Barnhart. Tucker. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. He'll step in here at 275. 13 home runs. 36 RBI. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Mike Rogers. He'll begin things here against Sonny Gray. Hit to short. Iglesias is up with it. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. In now for the Reds, Sonny Gray. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, 1-0. A, a ball and a strike. That's a real good job of going back-to-back -back fastballs right there. Most of the time, a hitter will see a fastball in the inside half of the plate, and they'll just think, well, this pitcher's going to go back on the outside. But when you double up like he did right there, it sends a message to the hitter that you're not afraid to throw in that inner half of the plate. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Sonny Gray is retired for the first out here in the bottom half of the third. Swinging on the first pitch, and this is bounced to the shortstop. Throw in time at first for route number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And next to bat will be Jesse Winker. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Desmond on the move. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the end. Striding in, Joey Votto. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. Votto! Grounded to short. This time down. Throws in time, and that's out number one. So now the Reds' cleanup hitter, Eugenio Suarez, one for one after a single his first time up. Ripped down the first baseline. He's pitching well. We're working into the middle innings right now, but this is when he's really going to have to bear down. When you start going through that lineup the second and third time, you've kind of emptied the bucket out already, so he's going to have to continue to buckle down and make good pitches. And he fouls this one off. No runs, two hits, one error on the ledger for Cincinnati so far. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. In now, Scooter Jeanette. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And this is taken outside for ball one. 
Ryan may be a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Ready with the 2-0. Swing and a ball hit on the ground, but this will get foul, two and one. To two and two now. Little hesitation right there by the batter. There's great execution by the pitcher down and away, but that looked like a late swing. Could have been sitting on something else. 88 mile an hour. Got to be like 90. High in the air out to center field. Desmond has it in his tracks. In order. No trouble with this one, and the fast inning fast. is over. Like you see a lot of the pitcher, Mike the Rogers, <laughs> steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation, so let's see if that yeah, is indeed on right here. I'm swinging. Okay. He's set, and the pitch. Oh, it's hit to third. Five, four, three on a nice dig at first, and the inning is over. Digging in to try it again, Nick Senzel. He'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. It'd be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. I do what I want. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. I'll tell you right now, this guy has a shutout going, and it's been all business. He's not messing around trying to pick at corners. He's being aggressive in the zone, and he's attacking each and every one of these hitters up to this point. Aristides Aquino is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. 2-0 now. Bases are empty, one man out. I don't know if any American League pitchers. Hit any home runs. Three and oh now. At a national league he's been park. throwing strikes all day. So you're not up at the plate thinking he's gonna walk you in this situation. You need to be aggressive and sit hard at the plate. Three and one the count now. And that is in there at the letters to run it full. Three and two. Fell behind early in this one. Three up. Battled back with two quality strikes. Interested to see if he catches a big part of the plate right here or tries to get a nibble. Swing and a miss, and they come back from a 3-0 count to sit him down on strikes, and there are two gone. Two gone in the Cincinnati fifth, and next to bat will be Tucker Barnhart. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Waiting on it is Dahl, and that ends the inning. Standing in, Sonny Gray. He'll get things started here in the second half of the sixth. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. This is the bugaboo on the offensive side. You want to stay in there and work a guy's count and hopefully get into the bullpen. But when you find yourself 0-1 every time, hitting becomes even more difficult. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Sonny Gray becomes the first out in the bottom of the sixth inning. Outside with that slurb of his one ball, no strikes. Hit the other way out toward right field. Blackman is under it, and that's the second out of the inning. So stepping in, Jesse Winker, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Well, he's done a great job on the hill throughout this game, and it's something to be proud of anytime you can pitch a good game in this ballpark, especially when it's not your home ballpark. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is... This will be my last game. So here now is the pitcher, Mike Rogers. Mike Rogers. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Line drive to center field. And he will run this one down as he pulls it in around. Stepping up to the plate, Joey Votto. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first out. Well, it was like right in, in Digging in now, Eugenio Suarez. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. In there, and it's 0-1. 
hot shot down the line. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Trying to get one strike out here. The next 0-2 misses, and that'll move it to 1-2 and two now. You know, he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going. They need a rally, so we'll see if he can spark one here. So we got him looking there. Eugenio Suarez becomes out number two this inning. Riding in once again, Scooter Jeanette. He hits with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. Well, Matt, this has been a big inning on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the order, and so far he's held them at bay. Yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game, even if the result of it changes dramatically here. Throw his feet off to get it. Now no runs, two up. hits, one error on the ledger for Cincinnati so far. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one. Ready now for Cincinnati, Nick Senzel. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Oh, he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's his wind-up. I don't know if it's just flat stuff. But he's getting a lot of swings outside the zone, and he's having a big game. And that's out number one. Now at the plate, Aristides Aquino. The batter. Here comes the first number pitch. 71. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. Fouled away. One out, nobody on. Hopped up. Reynolds is there for it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Digging in the switch hitter, Tucker Barnhart. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs. So here's the Reds pitcher, Zach Duke. He'll be the one to get us going here in the bottom of inning number nine. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Well-located changeup on that one as it catches the black for a called strike. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Coming in is Blackman. He That's can't right. get to it. This one's down. Hey, this is perfect storm right here. This is how big innings start. You put a crooked number up on the board when the pitcher leads off an inning with a huge knock. In a liner, but foul. 0 and 1, here it comes. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. I don't think he's going to triple up on changeup right there. He seemed to have gotten a timing down on that second one. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. Into the box now, Jesse Winker. Fourth trip to the plate for him, and he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, chances are it's on his mind, Matt, but you just have to let that get out of the way as best you can. You have to approach this at bat just like any other. Otherwise, you're just getting in your own way. Working for the punch out and the offering. Rip down the line. Duke, a runner at first with one gone in the inning. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. Well, I'll tell you, he's not hitting over 300 by luck. He really knows the strike zone and his own no strengths. That last take bye -bye. is a great example. Got him swinging on the fastball there. The Jesse Winker has retired on strikes for the third time tonight. Too high with the fastball here. It's 1 0. Now we'll step off the rubber and go to first. And the runner back easily. Yeah. I have to have some kind of fun. Two out with the man at first. Two out. Bottom nine. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. 
The Reds down to their last strike. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Blackman is there, makes the catch, and the ball game is over. Yeah, and we knew he was in a groove from the first inning, and he just kept this thing rolling and rolling and rolling. They couldn't get anything going against him. A dominant performance with a complete game shutout. And tonight's ends is a 3-0 shutout win. The Colorado Rockies jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Mike Rogers earns win number seven on the season, racking up 14 Ks in doing so. Sonny Gray pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. For the victorious Rockies, three runs on eight. Ninety two pitchers, not bad. But yeah, I'm going to end the video right here.